This is one of a three-part series looking at the most common serious diseases for pet ferrets, lymphoma, adrenal disease, and insulinoma. This video will focus on lymphoma, but links to the other two videos in the series are included in the description below. As always, you'll find in the description below a list of scientific publications and studies which support the facts and statements I make in this video. So let's jump in. Lymph nodes, or lymph glands, are small lumps of tissue which contain the white blood cells required by the body to fight infection. They are part of the body's immune system and they filter your lymph fluid, which is composed of fluid and waste products created by the body's tissues. These lymph nodes are therefore numerous and spread throughout the body. They are connected by a network of lymph vessels, which are a lot like veins, but instead of carrying blood, these vessels carry the clear, watery lymph fluid. Lymphoma is a type of cancer which develops when the white blood cells within the lymph nodes grow out of control. This happens when the DNA inside the white blood cells stops responding to signals which usually control how it should behave. Now, DNA mutations happen all the time, and most of the time they are completely harmless. However, once in a while they affect critical genes. If more than one critical gene is affected in a certain way, it can lead to cancer, such as lymphoma. Lymphoma is the second most commonly reported tumour or cancer within ferrets, with a reported prevalence of around 28%, depending on which study you read. Insulinoma is more common than lymphoma, and adrenal disease is slightly less common, both of which are covered in other videos in this series. While some studies have compared the relative likelihood of lymphoma versus other ferret diseases, there is not yet a reliable source for the likelihood of a ferret developing lymphoma over its lifetime, although this is quite a difficult statistic to obtain due to the inherent pitfalls in obtaining true and full information. Because no diagnosis was given as the owners didn't go to a vet, the ferret died before a formal diagnosis was given, other illnesses were more apparent which masked the underlying condition, misdiagnosis or selection bias in the group chosen for the study, Therefore, any study which does attempt a population-wide likelihood for a certain disease should be taken with a pinch of salt. In humans, cats, and some other species, it is known that lymphoma is caused by transmissible viruses. The features of lymphoma in ferrets also suggest an infectious cause, although the exact viral agent has not yet been identified. There is speculation that some types of lymphoma in ferrets is caused by a retrovirus, a retrovirus being one which invades the cells of the host animal, inserting its own genetic code, causing it to act in a way which proliferates the spread of more viruses. It is the mutation of the DNA caused by these viruses which is believed to cause lymphoma. Other suspected viral causes of lymphoma include Aleutian disease paravirus and the feline leukemia virus. However, more recent studies have shown that most ferrets with lymphoma test negative for those two viruses, albeit the sensitivity of those tests is limited. Now, naturally people will want to know what to look out for in terms of symptoms for lymphoma, but unfortunately it's not that simple. There is no universal signal or symptom for lymphoma in ferrets. The clinical presentation is non-specific and usually reflects the organ systems associated with the particular lymph node affected. As the lymph nodes are spread throughout the body, this adds to the complexity of diagnosing lymphoma, as it will mimic the symptoms of so many other diseases. Ferrets may therefore present with varying degrees of lethargy, appetite loss, weakness, diarrhea, breathlessness, hyperventilation, or other respiratory signs, or they may be completely symptom-free. Lymphoma may develop at any age and has been reported in ferrets as young as two months. Also, there is no sex differential. Anemia, or a shortage of red blood cells, is the most consistent laboratory abnormality in ferrets with lymphoma. X-rays are necessary in ferrets suspected of having lymphoma, although they are not 100% conclusive, as the absence of any findings does not rule out the likelihood of lymphoma. Ultrasound tools are perhaps the most valuable tool for vets within the clinic for assessing lymphoma, where abnormalities within lymph nodes can be assessed. However, the only true way of definitively identifying lymphoma is by taking a biopsy and analysing this tissue sample in a laboratory. All of this means that despite the frequency of occurrence, lymphoma is still one of the most difficult diseases to accurately diagnose, and much debate on the classification and the causes still exists. 
The goal with treating any ferret with cancer is to obtain an improvement in the symptoms and the quality of life. In most cases, lymphoma is a systemic disease affecting the whole body, as the cancer cells travel throughout the lymph system and within the bloodstream. In this respect, it is quite different to, and much more serious, than insulinoma and adrenal disease, which more often than not tend to be benign tumours rather than cancers. As a result of it being a cancer, lymphoma generally requires chemotherapy treatment. On the bright side, chemotherapy does not have the negative consequences that is associated with chemotherapy in humans, such as hair loss and sickness. In general, therefore, chemotherapy is generally very well tolerated in ferrets. Lymphoma is also highly responsive to radiation therapy, but this is most effective for single-site cancerous nodes. Similarly, surgery could be employed to remove a single cancerous mass. Unfortunately, however, whatever treatment option used, due to the malignant nature of cancers, it is common for cancers to reoccur in another part of the body within a few months. Survival rates vary significantly across studies, partly due to the small number of ferrets in each study, but indications are that survival time post-treatment will be on average 12 months although this will vary hugely depending on the extent to which the cancers have spread prior to treatment. So what do we know? We know that lymphoma is a cancer within the lymph nodes, that it is the second most common tumour or cancer in ferrets. It has no unique symptoms of its own and hence is quite difficult to conclusively diagnose and is unfortunately a very serious illness which frequently recurs after treatment and has a relatively low prognosis of around 12 months on average. Be sure to click on the other two videos in our series on adrenal disease and insulinoma and we'll see you over there in a second. And for those of you who have finished the video series, thanks for watching and hopefully try out some more of our videos on our channel on ferret health and husbandry.